Hello bookworms, welcome to another read aloud. As you know, we always have a theme for each week and we are still on the literacy as our superpower theme. And this week is our last week, our last week, literacy for literacy month. And the title of our story is Zanele Sees Numbers by Laura DeLang and illustrated by Henry Quetzi. As you can see in this picture, we have a little girl who seems to be examining flowers. So let's see what this story is about. Everyone tells Zanile that numbers are all around her. But no matter how hard she tries, she can't see them. Zanele asks Gogo to help her see some numbers. Gogo points to the jars on the shelf and counts. One, two, three, four. But Zanele is unhappy. Those aren't numbers. Those are jars. Zanele asks mom to help her see some, num some numbers. Mom points to the carrots in the garden and counts. One, two, three, four. But Zanele is unhappy again. Those aren't numbers. Those are carrots. Zanele sees Linda counting the chickens to see if they have all come back home. But Zanele is unhappy again. Those aren't numbers. Those are chickens. Zanele sees Auntie Counting the hours until supper. But Zanele is unhappy once again. Those aren't numbers. Those are hours. Zanele can't see the numbers in the world. She goes to speak to her sister, Gugu. Who is eight years old and knows everything. If you look at anything in the right way, you can see a number in it, says Gugu. Gugu gives Zanele a pair of magic glasses and tells her to go look for numbers in the world. And there you have it. One, two, three, four. Numbers. And five. The end. Thank you, bookworms, for listening to this interesting story. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned too. Bye.